Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Before we get into this crazy finish we've seen in this main event, I have some good fights on this fight card. Apart from the choir, my daughter's still uh, still awake, so I'm trying to do this, as, you know, as quiet as possible and stuff. Trying to get her to go to sleep, but either way, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button. Let's jump right into it. Crazy, crazy main event with Rafael Dos Anjos and Rafael Fisiev. I, I, uh, I thought Fisiev looked better than I thought he was going to. I thought Fisiev was going to start to uh, get a little bit tired in that fight. And, he, you know, he definitely did. Um, but every time we thought he was getting too tired, he would recover um, really, really well. Uh, and, and, and honestly, he was doing really, really well, even when he was getting tired of just kind of crowding Dos Anjos and taking those, you know, breaks or whatever. I did have to see, oh man, I thought RDA, the fourth round was his best round. And I had thought I had to see a little bit ahead in those first three rounds. Maybe it was 2-2. Two -two. It very well could have been because they were close. I just had, I had the feeling was that Fazeev was up a little bit. Um, but that fourth round, Dos Anjos turned it on. Um, and, yeah, you know. And he actually got a takedown. I was surprised with Fazeev's takedown defense just because I, I did think Dos Anjos was going to put the pressure on him a little bit more, um, make him work a little bit more. And he really didn't do that. It was kind of surprising. And then as the fifth round started, they started doing it. And Fasib did this combo uh, like two, three times in this fight where he did the jump knee to the left hook. Um, one of the times he did just the jump knee, then he would do it another time, and then he would throw the, the right hand. And it was a beautiful setup. He did the jump knee through the right hand and then through the left over the top. And it caught Dos Anjos flush. And he stumbled down to the ground, and Rafael Fasiv finished RDA. Now, this would have been impressive in the first, second, third. But for him to do it when he had a pretty rough round in that fourth round, didn't he really get hurt, but he started to get a little tired, getting tagged a little bit more, um, pace slowing down a little bit. It's so impressive that Fasiv was able to do what he did to RDA in the fifth round. After getting a little tired, you know, that's just a credit to the coaching of his seed. I don't think this drops Dos Anjos' stock really at all. I think he looked really good up until that point again. He expected a little bit more pressure from him, and that's not really what we got. Um, I did think there were some crazy decisions. Um, Chase Sherman, he did, he did what you do when there wasn't a whole lot of uh, adversity. He looked pretty good. Um, I, you know, I didn't expect. I thought Michael Johnson won. I don't really see how you think Jamie Malarkey wins that fight. I thought the third round was clear for Michael Johnson. And I thought that I gave him the first round as well. I thought he hurt Jamie Malarkey a lot more. Uh, he did get stunned later in the round, but I didn't think it was enough for Jamie Malarkey to pull that off. Cody Brundage... I expected him to win. I thought his I thought his um, his game, his wrestling game, and his cardio would be a big, big factor in it. And no, it was the striking. He he Gore kept doing the same thing where he kept throwing these blind leg kicks, and he got caught and put to sleep. It was nasty. Courtney Casey, I thought won pretty freaking decisively. I thought she won the first and the third. It was one of those, maybe the second and the third. Think. I think it may have been the second and the third because the create the uh, last second barrage of punches in the second round. I think it may have been the second and the third round. Um, Kennedy and Zekachu looked really, really good, but Carl Robeson's Carl Robeson, he did look good, and I think that's four he's lost in a row. Something like that. Something crazy. Ronnie Lawrence lost exactly how I thought Syed um, was going to win. He, he, he looked really, really good, but the, the name of the game, the, the you know, your overall winner of the night, obviously, is Rafael Fasib. He looked so damn good, and it's just so impressive. People people that aren't 
um, hardcore MMA fans, they're not going to understand how big this win is. Um, you see the coaches, you see Rafael, they know how big this is because, again, it's in the fifth round. It'd been one thing if the Sieve knocked him out in the first round or maybe early in the second, but once you get in a deep fight and you've had good moments, RDA's done good. He really didn't do, I don't think, did that really good uh, striking and mixing stuff up. He started opening up a little bit more later in the fight, but man, oh man, do we have a contender. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a contender. Contender. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Thank you for all the subscriptions. It's been absolutely incredible. Thank you for all the comments. Make sure you leave your comment down below. Who is the biggest winner of the night? And who is the biggest loser of the night? I don't mean the person's a loser. I mean, who do you think loses their, their stock drops so much? Let me know down in the comment section. Again, hit that subscribe button. They all help. As always, guys, you know what it is.